What's going on, YouTube? You already know it's your boy, Little T. Ah, back for the fact you already know how I'm. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Well, we got that boy, Mr. Beast, man. Mr. Beast. He, this nigga got a little sexy. This nigga just be doing shit, bro. Like, he just be doing shit at this point. This nigga is lost at sea. On purpose. <laughs> on purpose, bro. We are now stranded on a rock in the middle of the ocean. And there goes our boat. We are now stranded for seven days. At least they know where we are at. Seven days. Yeah, at least they know where we are at. This raft is literally countless miles from the nearest civilization. And whether we like it or not, my four friends and I are stuck on this raft. And it's not going to be easy. This is brutal. We're all at rock bottom now. This challenge went from fun to a literal nightmare very fast. No bullshit! Bro, look how far away the boat is. I can't even see it anymore. So step one, uh -huh. we're gonna get sunburned if we don't get shaved. And I had survival specialists equip this raft with tons of wood, rope, and everything else we would need to build ourselves a shelter. Boys, we need to get started. We are running out of light. I got this set. Ah, oh, my finger! Now we set these up like a TP. We picked the worst day to start. As you can tell by the clouds, it's literally about the storm. Why are you putting the TP in so the ocean? The thing we want to do is set up some structure to. Oh, okay. It's not. I also, thought you were setting a TP. Okay. Next seven days, we need a place to hide from the sun so we don't get sunburned. So, two birds, one stone. Speaking of birds, while we were building, this happened. Oh, the bird! It's coming Yo. right at us! Oh my god! Yo! Oh my god, it's a bird! We're land on that. We're gonna need it. Man, eat his eggs! That's what's better. His what's his name? Brian. Lunch. Brian. Brian. Lunch. What if you went and caught some fish? I know. He's looking at me. He understands. Jimmy, just say the word. Put the knife away. Okay, I'll put the knife away. <laughs> See, my man's and on my type of time. Just Brian, say the word. That was a joke. Forget the bird. We gotta build a shelter. And while Brian watched, <laughs> we worked on our first shelter for the Brian rest of the day. Except for my friend Tariq, who spent the entire day getting cool drone shots. And I'm not even mad about it. Inside this crate is the food for all five of us for the next seven days. Right. Oh, oh my god. And in these two barrels is our entire water supply for all five of us. How does it taste? Very hot. Very <laughs> hot. Sure. There was dirt in my cup. It's getting dark, and that crate has the word sleep on it. Hopefully the survival guides gave us something soft. Why are they wet? Things do get wet on the boat. Yeah. I'm ready for bed. I want to go to sleep. All right, this is night one. Brian is just yawning. <laughs> this is miserable. Brian, chilling. This is all the coverage we have. I didn't realize what I was signing up for. It's hot. This thing will not stop swaying, and I feel like I'm going to puke. And I'm surrounded by a bunch of sweaty people. <laughs> hey, sweaty man. If you guys smell this bad on day one, what are you going to smell like on day seven? Oh, gosh. Hey, it's... Our first night of sleep was really rough. Sleeping is impossible. These waves are just making me miserable. And to make matters worse, our best friend Brian ended up leaving us that morning. Brian! Brian! Bye, Brian. Yeah. But regardless, today's objective is to build ourselves a permanent weatherproof shelter. How do we turn that into a livable structure? There's definitely something here. Luckily, I had them throw a bunch of wood on the raft so we could build a nice house. How we build the house, I'm not quite sure. But they said this is enough to build a house. But ironically, right as we got started. Oh, no, it's raining! Start throwing! Jimmy, get my shark pillow! Whoa. Get my shark pillow! Whoa. This is miserable! This is bad. Ah, yes, Jesus it. Christ, you're not doing the right thing, Nolan. Listen with your ears. Why do you yell so much? Because you don't oh, want to hit Nolan. It's just rain. Shut up! <laughs> At least we don't have to shower. Yeah. This is so bad. These boys oh, crazy. We have to build the pooper. What? We have to build everything that's here. We have to build the toilet, build our Maybe I put your ass on the side of the boat. The moment the rain finished, the boys and I needed to build all of our survival centers. I would have squatted over the water. We're tearing this down in the name of something better. Five minute break for Chris. I also need a break. I've At least I got two. Yeah, it's a buzz. I can't pick it up anymore. I feel like you're doing all the work. Well, we got two other 
goose just swam down. I'm miserable. We built one wall. Yeah, we built one wall. All together. All of us. Regardless of being seasick, it was going to take all of us if we wanted to finish this. Now you guys bring it forward. And there, there we go. go. Hey. They're doing it, though. How many YouTubers does it take to build a little structure? What? Did we break it out? I think that's a whale. That's I think that's a whale. Oh my god, that is that's tough. Actually, whales. This experience just keeps getting better. Shelter, water, not being near Nolan. I'm never gonna take that for granted again. Probably would have been really useful to build the ladder first. Got a ladder. I literally just built this four minutes ago. After hours of building, we were finally getting somewhere. I severely regret making this a seven day challenge instead of a 50 hour challenge like all our other videos. We keep rocking back and forth. It's freaking miserable. I'm gonna puke. And finally, just as the sun was going down, camp is now organized. Yay! Yay! It looked good though. Night two, my bed is still broken, but I'm gonna get some sleep tonight because I'm that tired. I'm gonna hit the bed. How did I wake you up? Just go back to bed. I'm just sorry. I feel bad now. This might be the most tired I've ever been in my entire life. It was working though. It's now day three, and somehow our building didn't fall over. I'll take that as a dub. The noises that this structure made while I was sleeping last night filled me with nightmares. It's day three, and we've really started to get into a rhythm. Our morning routine consisted of peeing in the corner. Bro, who vlogs in the pee corner? I'm not moving. Eating our breakfast, surviving on feasts, what's all you need, and drinking hot barrel water. So dehydrated, I need this. We're about 36 hours in, and we're almost halfway through a barrel of water. Is that slow or fast? We're gonna run out on day six. Running low on water and food gave me an idea. I'm kind of curious to see oh, if we're going Dude, there's so many fish below us. So we decided to try to <laughs> catch the dinner. But we weren't very good at it. Why did this take so long? I just want something to put in my stomach. Brian! Brian, help us catch fish! Brian! <laughs> Brian! So fishing is a lot harder than YouTube. After hours, we caught absolutely nothing. Why can't we catch anything? Oh, I give up. We were tired, dehydrated, and hungry, which forced us to dig into our rations. Let's have ourselves a feast. Yeah! Well, a feast. A bull. Uh, Not a feast. Uh, Supplies we had wood to build a fire and pans to cook with. You take big stick and make really little sticks, and then make medium sticks, then use the big sticks at the end. Look at beans, baby! I'm so excited. This looks awesome. These are really bad. Can you tell we've been at sea for three days? <laughs> when have I ever been this excited over canned chili? Hey, I put some love into this one. It's not just canned chili anymore. It's got tomatoes, kidney beans. You don't have to keep talking. I'm already drooling. This was our first hot meal in days. <laughs> but it was also a good chunk of our rations. So we made sure to enjoy it. I feel a lot better. I think the first two days were definitely the most miserable. I think we're slowly, like, losing our minds and it's actually becoming bearable. I still haven't gone to the bathroom. That's my biggest concern now. You still ain't pissed? You ain't pissed in three days? I know you bled a four, boy. You need to go to the hospital. You ain't pissing three days. I'm struggling to sleep. <laughs> this raft is just rocking like crazy. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of miserable. Hopefully tomorrow's better. Day four. None of us managed to get any sleep. We lost the bag of our fort last night. The house needs some repairs. Tensions are pretty high on the raft this morning. Nolan's a little upset. He broke his bed. Oh my god! Nolan is struggling. And he's just in his feels right now. It'll be okay. <laughs> Oh, boy, <laughs> Gee, I thought on. he was going in that water. If I did that, <laughs> this is easily the worst. Oh, there's thunder. I swear if it starts raining again. Oh my oh, god, the thunderstorm will kill him. We accidentally dropped our ladle in the drinking water. And since we haven't showered in four days, grabbing it technically contaminated the drinking water. I'm never drinking out of that again. I'm not worried when we run out of water. Because of the contamination, a third of our water was no longer safe to drink. For whatever know. reason, the more I suffer, the more you guys watch. Some of our most popular videos are when I buried myself alive, spend time in solitary confinement. So I hope you're happy. I'm suffering again. It's not easy surviving on a raft, but after four long days, Lazer's finally pooping. You play a celebratory song. Lazer. You ain't shit in four days. It's it's okay. Okay. See how all those clouds over there are dark? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna pour down on us tonight. Tonight's gonna 
stuff. We didn't know it yet, but the biggest storm of the entire challenge was heading right towards us. Wow. And when we saw it approaching, we tried to prepare as much as possible. Yay. I'm going to the storm just to destroy all this again. Tariq is fixing his side of the floor, and Chris is fixing the roof. And I'm now with the cameraman for some reason. There's a storm brewing! And while they're preparing the shelter for the storm, I'm going to tell you guys about Shopify. Because it might literally storm until the end of the challenge. This is going to be a big problem. About Shopify, so I'm Shopify just gonna is a platform that makes it easy for anyone to start a business. They literally support millions of small businesses. To crop. There we go. They support businesses that sell it on Shopify. It's soon going to have absolutely zero tops covering this structure. I am worried about it. 100% of what I sell online, from merch to festivals, I... Yeah, Jimmy ain't do shit. <laughs> Mr. B said you shit. Really starting to pick up, but that night it got so much worse. This really puts the helter in shelter, eh? Ah! Oh no, dude! Oh, are you kidding me? It's leaking. Oh, no. It's leaking. The is the opposite of waterproof. <laughs> ah! This is brutal. What do we do? We have three more. Well, let's be sleeping in the rain at night. <laughs> but no, we gotta be the real channel that doesn't fake things. <laughs> They look terrible, bro. They the look like they in hell. With every passing hour. We were desperate, so we tried using our beds as literal walls to protect us from the rain. We're all at rock bottom now. It's been raining for a few hours. Stuff's freezing cold. We don't have beds. I'm getting nauseous. I don't know if we're going to make it this full seven days at this point. It rained nonstop for around 20 hours straight. And after standing the whole night completely soaked and exhausted, we had to push ourselves to dry off our supplies and rebuild camp. Our raft is just in shambles. Look at our beds. We're drying them off. This is harder than Antarctica. This is harder than a desert video. I'm just ready to be home. And I hate this raft. I never want to see it again. <laughs> our entire fire pit is completely drenched. We couldn't start a fire if we wanted to tonight. No dinner. And to make no matters dinner. worse, all of our food was completely soaked, meaning only a portion of it was still safe to eat. We had stability, we had food, we had dry beds, and we took it for granted. We cannot take another night like that. We need to waterproof the shelter. We just rip that off, tied it here, and then we'll leave there and close this out. We had this, this I mean, last night we were shivering cold and went to die. So would you rather be warm and dry or cold and wet? Put a zip tie here, and we'll like, tie a rope to that, zip tie there. We can use that to push this up so we get even warmer. I'm thinking, why don't I make a really big clothesline and hang up all our wet stuff? That's Maybe we'll smart. Have dry towels by tomorrow. Hopefully, if it don't rain. Some burn tired, dehydrated, and nasty tired. After fixing camp, we were so exhausted that we spent most of the day sleeping. But at least when we woke up, we were reunited with a familiar friend. Brian. 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 Why fuck you? Yeah, I'm drained. Stuck in a raft for five days with these guys. This really is a nightmare. I'll admit it. I miss Brian. Brian, moved on. You may not have given up on Brian, but Brian gave up on you. <laughs> Brian's given up on us. We have two days left. Why is he drained? What is this? Our water's contaminated, and we're all borderline dying. I'm oh, going crazy. These last two days will be interesting. Uh, Whoa, what could go wrong now? Uh -oh. I can literally see 500 fish down there. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Who fucking stinks? I almost had a mental break last night. I was shivering, wet the entire time, could not sleep. It was one of the worst nights of my life. Last night, shivering in the torrential rain in the middle of the deep, dark ocean. You know, we got through it. Now the end of this challenge cannot come soon enough. Making the challenge seven days was uh, a horrible decision. This is so much harder. Hey, six, come on, y'all. Reinforced Y'all moves there. Actually worked. Lennon said it rained last night, did it? Yeah, 4 a.m. sprinkled. Hey, here's. 
Here's the beauty. I didn't even know. That was the best sleep I've ever gotten. I actually got a full night's sleep last night. I can barely even open my eyeballs. I would say this is the hardest challenge we've ever done. Adding the extra five days on the end of a 50-hour challenge definitely makes it harder. The fact that we're just drifting at sea on this hunk of wood, that's pretty impressive. And while it seemed like the rain was over, we found ourselves encountering a new obstacle. What? We've gone from shivering cold like two nights ago to, to being hot. scorching hot. Unbelievably hot. I'm about to jump in the water because I'm getting too hot. We're gonna go swimming! I hope no one can swim. And while they cooled off in their own way, we got creative with ours. Oh yeah, it's bad. It's up in the water. I feel amazing. The jellyfish hit me. No, no, no. Ow! Oh, I just the ocean hate us. I knew it was a great idea not to go swimming. Are you okay? Oh, my God. some red line for the majority of the day it was so hot we literally couldn't walk on the deck yeah. hot, hot. i don't want to be alive yeah hot. Well, i don't want to be alive we, down, we were optimistic about reaching the finish line yeah it was less than 24 hours left in the challenge this has genuinely been the hardest challenge video i've ever been a part of honestly this whole experience has made me appreciate all the things we take for granted in life like your shower your food i Real miss tough. food a working toilet i never want to poo in a bucket again I think it's a tribe of towns. With the feasible bar. Yes. Available in every Walmart, Target, 7 Eleven, Albertsons, and America. So 2023, if you're still buying Hershey's, it's kind of lame. Hershey's for the boomers. Dang, shitting on Hershey's. Oh, excuse me. Why? My chair is broke. Jimmy, I'm starting to think you ate all the food. Yeah, I guess I'll just continue the time lapse with a broken chair, I guess. This is our final night sleeping together, everybody. Ooh, I'm so hey, glad to sleep alone. I'm gonna miss sleeping by your side. 100%. I would not rather sleep next to any other man. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'm going to <laughs> They did it! Big gang gang! Five hours, they ain't nothing. After an amazing night's sleep, we were visited by a familiar face. Brian! Brian brought his family to say goodbye to us on the last day. Thank you, Brian. That meant a lot. It's almost like we were family to Brian. We were. <laughs> he kept us safe during our, like, the night we had the least shelter. Maybe he's just a pea brain bird. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> off the rack. I wish. That was emotional. Everything Go say off, off the rack. I wish. So I'm trying to get off this bitch. That's right. Yeah, and I think my best memory is going to be leaving. <laughs> Same. We spent over 150 hours on this floating piece of wood. And even though it was easily the hardest thing I've ever done, the boys and I still had some good time. Where's his boat? Where's the boat? The boat! Then finally, the end was literally in sight. The boat is coming! Alert the ship of our location. Signaling the boat! Why is it moving so abnormally slow? Around. The first 10,000 people to go to the shop app will get a free box of Beast Books. Click the link in the description to download the shop app right now. Hey man, that's gonna do it for Mr. Beast. Being stranded on the fucking seat for seven days. That boy is crazy, man. But I had to entertain that. I do some shit like that. I want some experiment shit, but that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna see you in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.